Let's look at vertical scaling versus horizontal scaling in Snowflake. Uh, this is one of the important con concepts uh, which often students ask me. So what is vertical scaling? Vertical scaling is when you are increasing or decreasing the size of the warehouse. Let's say you want to increase the size or decrease the size. That is you want to move from a smaller warehouse to a bigger one like medium or you want to decrease from medium to small this is called as vertical scaling when you are resizing the warehouse okay what is horizontal scaling when you are scaling out okay scale out or scale in what does that mean when you are adding another cluster to your warehouse so there is this concept of multi cluster warehouse in snowflake so if you're currently running a warehouse as a single cluster now suppose you start running it with two clusters or three clusters that is scale out that is horizontal scaling and when you decrease it it is called as scaling in okay so what does uh, horizontal scaling mean is adding of a new cluster to a warehouse adding cluster to your virtual warehouse okay now how does it happen what we need to do so vertical scaling has to be done manually okay it has to be done manually you will have to resize your warehouses manually whereas horizontal scaling will be an automatic process okay you just have to define the minimum number of clusters and maximum number of clusters and there are a few other parameters like scaling policy based on that snowflake will do it in an automatic way so where do we use it when do you use horizontal scaling when do you need a vertical scaling right so if you have a slow running queries right that time you go for vertical scaling this will improve your query performance or in fact it will also improve your data load process if your data loading is slow horizontal scaling is required when you need concurrency right you have running multiple there are multiple users running multiple queries they are getting queued up then you can go for horizontal scaling and once you have added the cluster snowflake will automatically decide how many clusters to be used based on the load okay load on the snowflake servers okay that that's all about vertical scaling versus horizontal scaling you can try it out in the web ui you can try out uh, running a multi-cluster warehouse and see the differences